The Sam Livecast is brought to you by Fixers Living. Check them out on the internet at fixersliving.com or love them on the Facebook. Facebook.com forward slash Fixers Living. Kitchen, bath, outdoor, joy. That's what they do. Hey everybody, welcome to the Sam Livecast. It's Wednesday, boys. You good back there? Yo. Fantastic. Uh, this I'm is. A... Go ahead. It's no, your show. Good. Nope. Well, <laughs> you guys the most <laughs> awkward intro right there. <laughs> I'm excited for I'm what he's have... making today. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm excited for what I'm making today. Wait, just let me let me start by saying that this is we've been having themes. We had bread week. We've done. Uh, what else? Have we... What the hell other <laughs> themes have we had? Well, bread Come week on. was pretty cool. Um, I thought. Sorry, bread week was good. No, I'm now I'm blanking but, though. But bread for, week. We've had else? egg week. We had egg week. I think we had a, was egg week two weeks or was it just one week? It was a lot. Egg week we no, did it about a year and a half ago Stupid once, God. and then we did it again. Yes. No, I can't tell. Why? Why can't I not tell what the heck we've done? I, I need, don't know. I need to. Uh... But in <laughs> case anybody's wondering, all you got to do is go to the samlivecast.com and you can see all of our old episodes archived there. There are so many of them. If you hop onto the search button and type in something you like, you will see uh, some great recipes because 250 plus episodes. I mean, we've got to have a couple. So what number is like. this? This is 263 or something, wow. 262. Wow. But there it is, the samlivecast.com. And also interact with us, facebook.com slash samthecookingguy. So I'm trying to figure out what we've done. I don't know what I don't know. We've had weeks. We yes. had plenty of we've weeks. We've had weeks mm-hmm. when we've done things. Uh, so this uh, week is random week. We did the uh, we did week. that pork jerky machaca like burrito Monday that came out of the mantry. Oh my god, was that good? Uh, yes. Oh it was my just god, was that unbelievably good. epic? And you know it's interesting. I put it on the Facebook and and mm-hmm. a bunch of people said, "Hmm, like what? Like hmm, really?" Is pork jerky like, yes, it is exactly like it. That was really, really good. Boy, mm-hmm. that avocado slices on the bottom. Anyway, recipes there for people that want to follow that. Uh, so this is random week. So we did the machaca burrito. Today, um, uh, cream cheese and raspberry jam stuffed French toast. Oh, jeez. You can't make it easier. I suppose you could. No, you were... If somebody made it for you, but if you're going to make it yourself, it's pretty easy. And wait till you see how delicious this Sounds is. Yeah, amazing. and b- before, you start thi- before you start thinking, stuffed French toast, how am I going to be able to do that? Yes. Just wait and see. It's wait and surprisingly see. It's so simple. It's so good. Uh, and then uh, Friday is I'm doing something with lamb. Wow, nice. really? Yeah. What kind of lamb? I'm excited. I'm not you sure we've done make? lamb before. Yeah, yeah no, I, I love uh, We lamb. did lamb meatballs before. Really? Lamb yeah. chops, mm. lamb rack. Uh, lamb. We're doing, yeah. Uh, this is... Um, lamb burgers. Lamb burgers <gasps> stuffed with feta. Wow. Boom. They're so good. Boom. That sounds really so good. So good. And I'm surprised how many people are not like true lamb fans. And they go, well, it tastes different. For me, that's what I like about it. Yep. But anyway, enough of that stuff. We have a couple things to talk about. Uh, number one. Uh, hi, Sam. Love your show. I don't mind when you trash other cooks. So now, as I started reading this, I get to this first line. I don't mind when you trash other cooks. You know something's coming. But. Do you know something's coming? That's got to be a but. With you, yes. <laughs> Love your show. I don't mind when you trash other cooks, even when you tear up Paula Dean. I don't mind when you tear up products <laughs> that could be future sponsors. <laughs> I like that you tell it like it is in your house. Here's the but. But. Mm, there it comes. When you spend 10 minutes trashing fat people. And telling them you know best about how to eat, that's a bit harsh. Mm. I'm no fatter than you. I carry 20 extra pounds myself, just like you. If you're going <laughs> to judge people by their looks Ouch. and tell them you know best, you might focus on cooking diet food before you trash them. Just saying, Michael, loyal fan. I appreciate the, the email, Michael. Very frank. I really do. But I have to say, the one thing I take exception to is apparently how obvious my 20 extra pounds are. <laughs> Gee. I don't think 20. 20 is a little harsh. I, I don't think Michael is far off. No. Are you kidding? But I watched... Um, when you're at like 200, that's 20 off. But you're not. 
No. You're not. I'm not. I'm I mean, not I think, off. look, I think 20 extra pounds, because look, I, I am 20 extra pounds heavier than I should be. And but is I that... Don't, I don't carry it like it's 20 extra pounds. Yeah, but you're right, seven wait. foot eight. I'm, Nobody I'm, would notice. Hold on. I'm curious if you're saying that based on like what you're, what the doctors say you're supposed to be I, or I just, I think he's just like making a be. visual observation, but we, we, we should discuss the, the meat of the email. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, that when I trash fat people telling my no best, I guess I, he's right to a point. I mean, he makes a, he makes a reasonable point. My point wasn't, just telling fat people how to eat. The moment I was talking about is when we owned a frozen yogurt store in Phoenix and a super large person would come in and they would want like something uber unhealthy. If they walked in and said, can I have a small chocolate with brownies and stuff? I don't know that I would have minded so much. Mm-hmm. And I'm certainly not there to tell people how to eat. And I didn't. What I was saying was just the shit that was in my head. Yeah. Stuff that I wanted to say. Uh huh. And I have to say, I my whole... Uh, uh, thinking and attitude about uh, large people has changed. I would see somebody big walking down the street a couple of years ago and I'll go, oh, that guy's just a slob or whatever it was. Whatever the terrible thought I had in my head was, that mm-hmm. w- would be there. Now when I see somebody, the first thing is somebody walking down the street. You know what? They could have been 20 pounds heavier and the walking they're doing right now yeah. is helping them get healthier. Uh huh. But still, Michael's got a point. They could, uh, yes. But, but, I, but I got a point too. If you're real big, you probably shouldn't be getting the giant, the giant dish of chocolate frozen yogurt with brownies and fudge sauce and nuts. But what also I like about you is that I think it's I think the fact that you're putting yourself out there because you're on a diet right now. So you're not just talking about, you know, Ugh. it's not like you're just judging other people and then saying that you're completely fine. I'm Clearly, not... you want to talk about your diet a little bit. Well, I guess I will now. Yeah, well, I don't want to. to. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Well, let's I went it. on this thing a couple of years ago. I saw myself the hundredth, the hundredth episode of Sam the Cooking Guy mm-hmm. was was like a, a behind the scenes making of the show uh, episode. Mm-hmm. It was great. Mm-hmm. A guy named John Wise Barth was sort of like the commentator, and he interviewed people. And there's a moment when sitting right here on two chairs facing each other, John and I are talking, mm-hmm. and the camera's on my face, and all like. I, when I watched that episode back on TV, I just stared at myself and I went, oh my God, it's like somebody put an air hose in my ass and turned it on. <laughs> my face was just, yeah, just let this go. If you oh. can, if you can yeah. scroll through to just John and I sitting, having a little one-on-one conversation. I'll find it. Find that. Because I'm telling you, I looked at that and I did not like what I saw. And that caused me to make a change. Anyway, I went on this program. It's called Ideal Protein. I'm not shilling for the program. I'm just telling you, there you go. That's it. I feel like I got a lot of weight in my face there that normally isn't there. Really? Except right today. Shit. And that's why I'm back on the plane. <laughs> so, yeah, I get it here first and I get it here. <laughs> uh, so I went on this thing. It's called Ideal Protein. Mm-hmm. You basically eat their food, breakfast and lunch. Lunchtime, in addition to their food, you can have as much lettuce, greens as you want, and a couple cups of vegetables. As much lettuce as you want? I know. Oh, <laughs> wow. Romaine? But, <laughs> but so the, the premise of the program is this. Unlike the Atkins diet that basically said as long as you eat protein, whatever kind it is, it doesn't matter. So you could sit down and have 100 pieces of bacon and 40 eggs for breakfast and believe that you were fine. This is sort of intelligent protein design in that... They explain it like this, that when you... Um, you deserve it. I do deserve it. <laughs> okay, get off that. I just don't want this to be a stupid commercial. The plan is this. They, they say this. When you eat carbs and sugars, and then your body goes to eat off of itself, mm-hmm. I guess is a one way to put it, right? No, no, no that's about right. Um, it goes for the carbs and sugars first, essentially the low-hanging fruit. Okay. When you take the carbs and the sugars away from your diet, your body has to go somewhere for, for uh, nourishment, and it goes to the fat. When the carbs are there, it's like they're sitting here. The carbs get eaten. When the carbs aren't there, it goes right to the fat. Oh, okay. I lost in five weeks. I guess I did this two years ago. Yes. 25 pounds. Get out of here, really? That's insane 25 losing. 25 in five and weeks. Once again, I overuse the term insane and insanity. You do. But is that even five healthy? pounds a week? That's amazing. Is it, is it what? That's not even healthy, right? No, I think five a week is okay. Oh no, no, five pounds a week is not okay. I don't <laughs> know it if not? it is. No, no, no. Okay. Five but I'm a... telling you, 
I looked in the mirror one day and I had that big, you know, air hose up my ass face. <laughs> Not very much later, I looked back in the mirror and I was like, whoa. It was a huge, huge change. Mm-hmm. And that's where I am. So I'm on now day two. And here's the thing. You eat their food, breakfast only. Lunch, eat their food. Then you can have lettuce and you can have vegetables. Hey. Dinner, you have regular, you, you know, a lean protein. Yeah. So like you couldn't have a ribeye steak, but you oh, could no. have tenderloin. You have sirloin, that kind of stuff. Mm. And you have uh, vegetables and salad. And then a little snack thing at night. My snack choice is this little pudding thing. That pudding. They make. But the crazy thing is, I think it works. Wait, can you... Um... And I have to be uber diligent about this. Oh, by the way, and there's no alcohol. Mm, that's a big thing and, for and, him. And Kelly, uh, my wife, uh, said, well, I'm, I feel like I need a break from the alcohol too, so I'm not going to drink while you're not drinking. And I go, no, no. I want you to drink. Somehow I find strength in somebody else's drinking. Really? Wow. <laughs> I made her cocktail last night. I like to smell the, the, the booze, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. I'm fine doing that. But if she didn't drink and I didn't drink, I feel like we'd both sit here like this. Oh, this really sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> Maybe we should have a drink. What if we just have one drink? This way, it's like I'm trying to prove myself against her. I want her to eat bad. I want her to drink. Wow. <sighs> Can you just show us those little powder things in that drawer right next to you? Yeah. Because they, what they do is they deliver you these meals. Yeah, and you, you mix them up and you use them with eggs here's, or something, right? Here's what I had. For, I should have taken a, brick, a picture of it. Uh-huh. It comes like this. It's just this. It's a, it's a little, you can't really see it. It's just a little packet. And this is mm. the fine herbs and cheese omelet mix. Mm. You mix this with five ounces of water. And then you cook it like a like scrambled eggs, oh. a little, little, little omelet in the pan. So it has egg powder in it, rather yes, than yes, it does. It okay. has everything. Yeah, got it. Interesting. But this is from before, so this is expired uh, in August of last year. Yeah, <laughs> but it's just powder. I mean, how bad can it be, right? Yeah. Fine herbs and cheese omelet mix. There it is, right there. <laughs> yep. Fine herbs and cheese omelet. It's a little hard to see. I mean, I just know, I know you saw really good results. I saw good results. Five 25 weeks pounds in five weeks. I'm trying to get into bikini shape. I mean, it is it April, is by the way. Yep. But I'm, I'm going sorry, up spring. to Van- I'm going to Vancouver for my father's unveiling. Mm-hmm. Uh, do we talk about this? No. You in, the, didn't. in the Jewish religion, once someone passes away, they bury them as soon as possible so people can start the healing process. I don't understand the religions that will keep somebody who's dead above ground for a week or two to have all the mourning and all that. That's just terrible, heartbreaking stuff. Mm -hmm. In the Jewish religion, in you go right away. If the family's around, you could do it the next day and it wasn't the Sabbath, you would do it the next day. But there's not a headstone at the grave for a year. I don't actually know the reason for that. But a year later, they have what's called an unveiling. You go back for another little service. So the point is, I'm going back to Vancouver for this at the end of this month. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go out and we're going to eat. And Vancouver's got amazing Chinese food and I'm going to want to... I don't know. So I'm gonna. Partake I don't know if I can Chinese be. Food, I don't know huh? if I can be that vigilant while I'm up there. But here, no problem. Hmm. In fact, I don't know that I'll have bites of what I'm making today. Oh, I'll have to I bring one you of you guys in here. All right. Hey, speaking of, um, we got to do this. Yeah, we're gonna do that. I want to go okay. to Facebook really quick and just throw a quick shout out to Sarah Augustowski. I like to. Wow. I like to uh, highlight when you guys put up your recipes that you made, and those are those are gluten free Scotch eggs because she coated them in masa and cornmeal. That's a genius little move. Wow. That's sweet. And she says she baked them oh, and, and then tossed them, them in the fryer. The fire. So good. Nice. Uh-huh. Thank you, Sarah. That's cool that she did that. Yep. All right. Anyway, uh, that's all I got. I'm ready to go cook something if you guys are ready to eat something. Oh, yes. We're ready. I can't eat. So ready. It. Let's go. Michael says, I carry an extra 20 pounds like you. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I can't get that out of my head now. Aww. All right. So I'm making French toast. You know there's going to be eggs involved, of course. Yep. Because mm-hmm. you need that. Uh, you need a little bit of milk. We'll get the, the, the dip part ready. And there's no rocket science to this. this tell, is, am I right that this was one of your first cooking guy recipes, I think? I mean, I feel like you've been making this forever. Uh, the stuffed? I guess I could be wrong, but in my mind, this is right up there with Rainy Day Salmon as one of your first yeah, recipes. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, French Toast Mountain. Yes, that's, that's what you're thinking. 
which you have if you haven't made that that's on the live cast site it's really just making french toast the normal way but then you cut it up into little pieces and you kind of mound it up uh, it looks so it looks like a mountain a little bit of milk in here you don't need a lot of sugar but I like to put just a little bit in I was looking at lucky and I just you missed the sugar yeah no I you walked out of the frame and I was just holding it straight oh. <laughs> here right. now I'm gonna get a quick shot of uh, the kid back here because he's he's freaking out what's he doing he's just having a how good does must that feel don't you wish you could shake like that? Yes. Okay, that's enough of you. Yeah, I'm working over there. Working, working. So, let's see, this is done. Good. So we just got an egg. We got an egg, milk, a little sugar, right? Perfect. And this was supposed to be soft. I bought a soft cream cheese. Like whipped or just? Well, soft is, is not uh, whipped. Whipped is got uh, extra air in it. Yeah. Let's hold on. Nobody, I like whipped. Nobody talk. Uh, yeah, whip's okay. I think I prefer the normal one. Are you still sick, Lynn? How did you know? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I can hear it in your throat and, and voice. Give the guy it's, a break. It's just never going away. I've already relinquished that. What have you got? The, oh God! The Black Plague, apparently. Oh, apparently, you do. Hey, you, you remember got the something from Los Angeles is what you got. Oh, seriously, huh? Do you, do you remember the um, the picture that we took of the French Toast Mountain? No. Look at this. Oh, Ooh. that, ladies and gentlemen, you have to make. Do you, Do you know what the? This is a little bit of trivia for those that want to. Do you know what the white stuff is behind? Powdered sugar. It's supposed to be powdered sugar, right? Yeah. Um, but we ended up making it. Do you remember? What was it? I think no, it was like. What was that? Oh, it was baking powder because we uh, ran out of powdered sugar. <laughs> we, so we had to sprinkle something that was white on it. Get out of here! I yeah. don't remember that. That's funny. So yeah, okay. that's, that's not powdered sugar. All right. So here's the deal. Um, if you make them sort of a nice size, then you can do this uh, pocket thing that you want to do to these. Hey, what kind of knife are you using there? That's cutting that. Bread so perfectly. Sorry to knife, you idiot. Uh, all right. You just called anybody who doesn't know what a serrated knife is an idiot. No, I called you an idiot. Good job. I called you an idiot. So I, I want to I want to just do this. Just kind of like make a opening in this bread a little bit. Mm -hmm. The cream cheese. I'm gonna have a problem with this cream cheese. I just know it. But I think you got to be careful with the size of the hole you make because you don't want everything spilling out, right? Yeah, some spilling out is actually very cool to look at. Okay. But, so look at it. It's just like this. See? That's all. Just a little pocky. <laughs> you call it a pocky. A little pocky. So now let's try and do this. Which isn't going to work. Why the hell oh, is this stuff? This looks so rich. I should have gotten the whipped one, probably. No, it looks fine. I mean, you've softened it okay. enough. There yeah. we go. Do you see that? See what? Ew. Well, it's not a hair. What is it? That's a hair. Whose hair? It's a lucky hair. It's a fuzz. How did a dog hair get up here? I mean, this all it's this probably is new. All, over your, all over you because you're with them all day. Oh, could have come off my shirt, you're saying? Yeah. Luckily, we're the only ones eating this one. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody will complain. That's disgusting, man. Whatever, man. People get hair in their hey, food all the time at home. Then. Right. Okay. Cream cheese, cream cheese. Right? Right. Mm-hmm. This is so good. So good. Wow, it's so great. you could really stuff it with anything you wanted. Of course. Yeah. You could stuff it with, oh, I just broke a hole. You could stuff it with peanut butter and bananas. Yes. Ooh. Okay, so now the jam. I'm a, I'm a raspberry jam fan. Me too. Lynn? Um, I would say raspberry first and then strawberry. Yeah, I'm not, yeah. I'm really I'm not a strawberry guy either. I'm not a, yeah, and you're probably not because we didn't have it much in the house. Yeah, that's probably why. Because I didn't like it. And mom doesn't like jam, so. Uh oh, this is gonna be a problem, this guy right here. It's gonna fall out. Yeah, well, it's already a hole, I created a hole. So here's, you just wanna spread this around, right? 
seal it, spread, seal, spread, seal. Done, done. This is on. We're almost there. Oh, uh, okay, so, good. so now, now we need some butter here. I'm gonna come over there. Okay. Oh. Well, I don't have very much butter, soft. Good, hot. Nice. The other French toast that I do, I put uh, cinnamon uh, in the, with the, the, the egg. I don't want cinnamon in with this. Uh-oh. This is going to be really interesting. It's going to be messy. This one. It's going to be a mess. OK, so now it's just this simple. You know how to make French toast. Everybody knows how to make French toast. You dip it in the egg. Then it goes into the hot pan or whatever you're using. I don't know if everybody knows how to make French toast. Well, I think, I mean, the general concept. You, you know that there's you know it? there's dipping or something at some point. Yeah, I think sometimes I get a little confused about how long you should let it get soaked. Oh, you don't need to. Look, there's a French toast casserole that I've never made that I hear people talk about. Huh. Yeah. And you're taking the bread and the eggs and whatever else goes into the dumb thing, putting them all together and putting that casserole into your refrigerator overnight. So it can sit in the beaten egg stuff. But here, if you let it sit in there too long, it'll get soggy, and we don't want that for this. I think no. it depends on how you like your French toast. You know. Okay, it's beautiful. Now, of course, when it's thicker bread, you need to let it cook without burning, so you can't have too much heat going on there. Mm -hmm. Correct? Yeah. This is, this is going to be a problem, this guy. See that guy? This guy. This guy right here. Get a load of this guy. Uh oh. That one. That one's <laughs> oh, gonna be a problem. Go. No, it'll be fine. It's be gonna, fine. it's gonna, it's when I flip it over, it's all gonna goo. <laughs> well, that's fine, but whatever. It's gonna be a little messy. Look at this. We got perfect time here. Cooking, cleaning. Starting to get color. See that? Pretty. See that down there? Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. And it's all about heat management, you know? Like, yeah. You know that. I burned so many things on that flat top before. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you know, when we, uh, when we moved into this kitchen after it was redone, um, this stove was new, and this, this flat griddle came with it in another box. And I unpacked it uh, along with, you know, these grates and set it up. Imagining I would just have it there just to look at, and then I would take it off. I've never taken this off. I use this more than almost anything in the stove. Really? I love this thing. It's so easy. I'd say at least three times a week I'm cooking on this. You take it a pretty good care of it, too. It looks like it's brand new. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, there's definitely some scratches and dings to it, but... So here's... Now we want to flip and look at the beautifulness going on here. See, just a little bit. We'll see what's going to happen to this one when I flip wow. it over. Nice color, man. It's beautiful, right? Should we have a little powdered sugar on them, right? <laughs> Do we have powdered yes. sugar? I got it, yeah. Please. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. You can see a little bit of the red and white sticking out. You know what's cool? I think if you do this uh, uh, very carefully, you could bring it to the table, and people wouldn't know that there was uh, stuff inside it. Yeah. You True, could. yeah. And then they cut into it, they'd be like, whoa. Nice be a surprise. Nice surprise, right? <laughs> you could put crunchy stuff in there. Cereal. I was going to say, Rice Krispies. Can you imagine yeah. mixing the cream cheese, the jam, and Rice Krispies and stuffing it inside that? That would be a... I wish I'd shit. <laughs> I don't have them anymore because I, really, I don't really have a need for cereal in this house without kids living in this, living in this house. I love cereal. You always had it when I was here. Well. But you stopped making the granola. No, I just made a batch of granola the other day. Oh, okay. That mom has taken. Have we made granola on the show? Yeah, we did that, right? Did we? Didn't we make granola on the show? I don't know. I always thought we made granola like before we, we would come in to shoot the show, but... <clears throat> okay, these are almost there. Oh, they look perfect. Right. I don't know about this guy. 
This was a lot simpler than I thought it was going to be. Oh, wait, Lynn. Perhaps you don't understand the concept of Sam the Cooking Guy. <laughs> I'm just saying it's... It was more simple than I had originally thought. Maybe that's why I should... Sam the Cooking Guy. Food so simple, even, any, even an idiot like me can make it. <laughs> All right, we need a plate. See, I am so... Are you hungry right now? Yeah, yeah I am hungry. hungry. Oh, I'm hungry because I'm on a <laughs> starvation plan. <laughs> But I'll be okay. But I can eat my lunch soon, so. And I will. Are you gonna make that when we're here? <laughs> Maybe. Your little egg and herb omelet? All right, here we go. Hey, Lynn. Yo. Why don't you uh, set the shot and then come out here? Yeah. Because don't forget, I'm not eating. I can't have these carbs and these sugars as much as I'd like to. Yeah, this is beautiful. Freaking beautiful. I gotta step back when so tall. Wow. Look at that. It's gonna be perfect. Wait. And whatever you do, think about the picture that you're gonna take next. Yes. That's what we're working on. <laughs> there we go, there we go. It's gonna be snowing powder. Fork, right below you. Want a knife? Bust into that the right way. All right, let's see here. I'm so jealous, man. I wouldn't do that. Look at that inside. Get in there, Max. Get in there. Look at that. That's it. It's oozing. Oh, that's the way it's supposed to be. Look how beautiful that is. Wow. Okay. Shit, I want a bite. I'm going to enjoy this for you. Yes, thank you. Wow, I'm excited. I just keep looking at my stomach. Everybody oh, I was really expecting him to burn himself. How is it? Oh, wow. Isn't it good? You're not just saying that. Mm -mm. You don't lie about my food. I just want to take another bite. This is amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, it really is. Honestly. It's so good. The cream cheese is so good. I like this combination of the cream cheese and the raspberry jam so much. In my second book, I did uh, cream cheese wontons. Same combination, but in a wonton wrapper and baked. Mm. That shit is good. Really good. Tremendous. All right, man. Boom. Enjoy it for me. Amazing. That's it, everybody. Thank you for hanging out with us today. It's the Sam Livecast for a Wednesday. Cream cheese French toast. Who can't make this? Uh, check us out on iTunes. You can subscribe. Tell your friends about us. We really, really appreciate the support. We'll see you on Friday for lamb. Oh my, they're going to be really good. Mm -mm. Stuffed with feta, balls, red onion, delicious. See ya.